I'm so excited. I've never been to London, so this is crazy for me. Like, just even driving here, I was like looking at all the castles and the buildings. I was like, this is so sick. I've never done a premiere out of um, where I am in LA, so this is really cool. So my character is Savannah Meads and you know she's the popular girl in school she just from the outside seems like she just has it all together and has this perfect life but really you know she's just a young girl trying to figure it all out and I think it's cool seeing her progress throughout this film and really figure out the true meaning of friendship and that it's not all just about social media. Um, I think in 2020 
everyone, you know, it's just all about social media, and it's it's pretty easy to get consumed in all of it. But I think it's so important to like take time back and not get like caught up in everything. Um, and I think that that film, this film, really shows that and shows that you know we all have to be in person and like have those real connections and real friendships in person because over social media, I just feel like things can get lost in translation. You know. I think that we're gonna love it. It's it's just you know your classic Disney film. It has those heartwarming moments. It has those super like funny moments. I like literally cracked up watching it, and it, I also cried at some of the parts. So it's there's something for everyone in this movie. But it's really funny and it has a really great message. I mean, this is my first film festival I've ever been to, actually. So it's uh, feeling pretty good. The song Sunshine, I mean, the best story I can tell you behind the song was that one of the writers of the song, Sarvan Katecha, uh, we just about finished it and his son came into the room and obviously we were making a film for kids, so he asked him, he's like, what do you think of this song? Do you like it? And he said, I just wish there was more sunshine in it. It's actually where we got the title from, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, it's amazing, uh, UK film house making a, a Disney film, right? Uh, super cool, and I got to go in and do a couple of voices. It was really light and easy for me. I didn't do a hell of a lot, but it was, um, it was a lot of fun, and I left my own voice in there to see if my son could spot it, so I thought it was quite fun. It was very interesting. It was um, a lot of pressure, because they played a scene, and then it has three beeps, and then you have to be in time with the character of what they're saying. I mean, I was, luckily, I was a robot, so it was a lot easier than someone's mouth moving, so... I'm really excited actually, I'm excited to see how this is going and uh, yeah, I think it's going to be really, really great. And I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's going to be a classic of a future, a futuristic film in a way for me because it's all about technology. It's one of the first times people have done this sort of film in a Disney, Disney experience, so we'll see. It, we are amazingly excited because it took us about five years to make this movie and sometimes I wonder why we're making animation because it takes a long time, but um, this is all worth it. Uh, we, just to see it with a live audience and to get real, ch real kids reactions to the movie, that's what's so exciting, that's why we do it. We had, not only were we trying to tell a good story, we also had to design a really cool robot and we also had to design a social network. <laughs> Uh, and uh, all of those things together were quite challenging, especially for a brand new studio that was um, making their first movie. But um, I really feel like everyone stepped up to the challenge really well. Well, I think we're all trying to figure out what our relationship is to technology. And I, I think it's so important when we see our lives kind of filtered through our social media and through the way we use our devices. This is a story about a device that actually uh, it creates a new kind of friendship uh, between these two kind of outsider characters and I think it'll be really refreshing just as a reminder that real messy friendship is actually something to celebrate. Well, it's kind of like what I said that actually friendship b between people should be allow for differences, it should allow for different opinions, different likes, different interests. That's how you get exposed to really cool things and that's how you build a much richer friendship. Um, I really want them to fall in love with our main characters. I, I think they will, <laughs> uh, because they're so much fun to be around. Um, and I think I'd, I'd love them to think about their friendships and about how you know how good it is that to be to have good friends that have different opinions, and that's all part of a rich life. It's going to be such a joy to see faces instead of screens, I tell you. It's been a long time coming, this film. Uh, so to actually have a real live audience is very exciting. As a parent myself, I, my children spend their time a lot on social media, on digital devices. So it's a very interesting topic to throw out there. For, and it affects everyone. I mean, uh, parents and children alike and you know anyone involved in today's world basically so it's important to say something about it we are extremely lucky i think really and also you know we have fantastic writing team sarah smith and pete bainham um, they come from you know wonderful british comedy and um they're you know certainly people very much like that so they want to be involved which is we were very lucky very happy and had, having had fun and basically having have something to think about as well. It's like, you know, what does friendship mean in this modern world? What does it mean? So hopefully they'll have some things to talk about in the car on the way home. The highlight, 
finishing it. <laughs> Thank goodness. So yes, really, I mean, just the whole way through has been fantastic, so yeah. But it's great, I just want people to see it now. So. Very excited. Yeah, it's very surreal, amazing. Just excited for the movie to come out, so very excited. Oh, wow, there's so many. Um, working with Zach, of course, you know, uh, for Ron and then Jack, uh, the heart, and just brings so much charm, you know, and then Rob Delaney for all the comedy he brought. Um, Justin Smith, I mean, all the crew were amazing, so we're very grateful to have the whole cast that we had. So. Being a parent and having kids of my own, um, it's one of those things where you want to be able to have a conversation about how the world is, how you make friends, and with technology and everything else. And hopefully you guys have a question at the end of the day with your parents and your kids. That's about it, but it's supposed to be a, you know, a story about friendship. So. Uh, challenges, I say, would be uh, all the bots and all the crowds uh, and trying to get it all personalized for every user. So um, that was one of the biggest things for us. I wanted to take away that I actually uh, have, you know, more of a sense of time with their children and with parents being able to also to connect. So it is about friendship, but it's also about relationships. So hopefully that's where it comes from. Oh, it's exciting. It's like we feel like we're with the grown-ups. <laughs> so it's really exciting, yeah. Um, Sarah Smith, the director, my co-writer, first came to me and said I want to do this thing set in the world of tech where a kid has a sort of like has a, has a new device and wants to feel really contemporary and so just to feel like now and what it's like to be a kid and an adult actually living in this world where just this crazy amazing tech's coming at us and we don't quite know how to deal with it but we also find it super exciting so to have that and then to have a really fun friendship story at the heart of it so I just went for it I just thought it was a great idea I was just, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm a comedy writer. I've been a comedy writer for a long time, and I always come at it from, my point of view is like, whatever you have to say, if you can make people laugh, then you're three quarters of the way there. If you're just lecturing people and going like, beware kids, tech's dangerous, like, nobody's gonna listen to you, especially not kids. But if you're doing something that's like this, where it's fun, I think it's hugely important. And that's my, that's my gut thing anyway, is to think of the joke first, and then look for the meaning afterwards. Yeah. Primarily, have a good time. It's a hugely fun movie with fun characters and the great, you know, like the, the fun crazy granny and all that. And uh, you know, and uh, but also just to kind of um, just to, in the end, real friendship and just try. However you get to it, even if it's online, to so just like be there for your friends, you know. And because in the end, Barney learns the message along the way that friendship's a two-way street. And so he gets that. He starts out with a device that he thinks is going to just provide him with friendship. And he finds out that, no, you've got to work for it as well. And that's true friendship. And the friendship's messy. Yeah. It's absolutely fantastic because the dream really was always to, to kind of kickstart animation production in London. And like nine years ago, I was walking the streets with a business plan based on something, how to write a business plan on the internet, telling people we have all the talent. We have amazing children's writers. We have the visual effects industry. We're so creative. Why don't we have our own Disney Pixar DreamWorks movies made here? So to be celebrating this at the London Film Festival, perfect. Well, you know, the whole point of the film is that it's drawn from my experience as a mum, you know, with my kid and what matters most to other parents and kids around me, which is friendship, the simplest thing, all the difficulties of friendship and how much more complicated it is for kids in the digital age. And so in a way, it's the easiest pitch in the world because everyone recognises those things. Well, you know, the message is an exploration of the subject. I hope it's not too simplistic, but it's really about the idea that you shouldn't over curate your life. You should be open to chaos and the idea that you might be friends with somebody who disagrees with you about everything um, and being open to that and the possibilities that that brings. The Beebot itself, well, really, my idea was to try and make an animated iPad. How do you turn the iPad, which obviously is the thing that as a mom and a kid, you always argue about at home. How do you turn the screen time thing into an animation character? And it was the idea that it's the next generation of device. And there are people trying to make something like this, but luckily in animation, it didn't have to actually work. It just had to look like it did. So we were able to come up with the device that I think everyone would like to make, your walking, talking friend. 
I hope they have a great deal of joy and fun in the central relationship and I hope it makes people talk to each other on the way home, kids and parents, about all these issues, about friendships in person, friendships that are remote, you know, and their experiences. And that they recognise the idea that this idea that we all have, that everyone else somehow has friendship and social life organised and we don't, that we all feel that way.